Hey everyone, it's Adelaide Winterstep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be riding Chester through Golden Hills Valley that recently had an enormous construction update and we're so excited to see how the place has turned out. So let's hop straight into today's video. On this particular morning, I got up at 7 a.m. and headed straight to the barn. Today I'm going to be riding Silverdew, aka Chester. He's one of the original horses here at the barn. He's almost 18 years old and he's got pretty typical Jorvik warm blood uh, confirmation. He's currently out in the paddock, so I made sure that I got his halter and went straight out. He's honestly adorable, and he just loves hanging out with his pasture pals, but once I had to bring him inside, he gets a little bit moody sometimes. So now I'm going to head straight to the outdoor tack-up area to go ahead and quickly groom him before we trailer out to Golden Hills Valley. Today I just decided to go down with a quick brush through, as well as getting his hooves picked out and we were really on our way. I also got a new trailer recently, which is super exciting, and it's taken a little while to get all the horses accustomed to it. Nonetheless, we're on our way. I have a really deep connection to Golden Hills Valley as I was actually born there and most of my family is there, but also mostly because my childhood memories take place there. Um, the actual village itself is beautiful, Cape West Fishing Village, and I just really enjoy there sometimes to go get some lunch and just hang out at the Golden Hills Valley stable, but most of the time I find myself at Jasper's Farm where there's actually a lovely little cross-country course to work on. I go ahead and unload Chester as we begin to tack up for today's cross country ride. Today I'm placing on my Norwegian Saddle Pad Company saddle pad. It's one of my favorites actually, extremely durable. The quality is fantastic. I've had mine for three or four years now, and the style itself looks fantastic as well. I really appreciate the company for sponsoring me for today's video, so I just wanted to give them a quick shout out before we continue. As usual though, right after that I'll go ahead and place on my normal, typical everyday saddle and a pair of boots that match with our outfit because how adorable is that? Then of course we go ahead and switch out that halter with the bridle before we begin. Just wanted to take a moment to appreciate Chester's beautiful head profile. He's so well bred, extremely handsome, and I'm pretty sure he knows it. Today we're riding out at Jasper's farm across country area. It's absolutely lovely and we'll begin by just doing some trotting over logs. This is a really, really great warm up that I have. Chester's an older horse and so he gets a little bit stiff and locked up sometimes. It's good for him to move out there and not push him too fast into going over a bunch of combinations and sets. So I just start off slow and easy going and as he wants to pick up the pace, we'll go with it. He's absolutely awesome. He's not a nervous ride, so it's just really enjoyable to take it slow and easy going with him. And he Chester was actually one of my original horses, and so as I was going through college, he was a really, really important horse in my everyday competition life, but as well as when I would go out on trails or just do lovely little day rides. I have a lot of personal connection to this horse, and I just really enjoy having some days out with him to do stuff like this. Because of my busy schedule, I'm often focused on working with the green horses, the young horses, those that are currently out in the show ring, but it's also good to make sure you don't ignore those that are spending most of their days out with pasture pals and such, because those horses too of course still need attention and companionship and I think Chester really enjoyed having a partner for today's ride that he is pretty close with instead of a lesson student that he's pretty used to. Chester was also surprisingly fit. I haven't ridden him in a while and I haven't kept track of what uh, lesson students he's been riding with but he's somewhat fit and I could say that he went all out when it came to those combinations. He had a really forward canter there. Um, many points he was full on galloping straight at it and he's very confident horse. He's quite bold and I really appreciated that about our ride today. Towards the end though we had to pack up. For some reason he acted like he had never seen the trailer before, had to give it a sniff, but we were immediately back on our way to the barn. Once at the barn, I go ahead and rinse him. He's a little bit sweaty and gross, and just gave him a good brush down. I wanted to make sure that he was clean and cozy before he went up in his stall, and he wouldn't, wouldn't have lessons for the next couple of days, so it was probably better to do it now. As well as that, I've been using these grooming mitts lately that are like curry combs for your hands, and they work so incredibly well to get dirt and hair off. Really love them. I recommend them 10 out of 10. And go ahead and give them away with a pat. 
So thank you everyone so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was short and small, but I'm trying to work on some new ideas, something creative, and trying out different editing techniques. Video? See you all next time. Bye!